Hi guys, welcome to my crazy life and Christmas in July. It's Lori and today I have a dollar, mostly Dollar Tree DIY for you. Um, we're going to start this week off with something pretty cute. It's a Christmas ornament. So I will go over the supplies with you that we need and then I'll show you what I put together. All right, so just our basic scissors, some uh, nips. I do recommend investing in a decent pair. I think I paid $5 for these and they are Stanley and they work really well, those. Um, I have this garland. Now I got this on clearance last year and I'm using it on a couple of my projects this week. I got it at Target in the dollar spot, but they do have garland at um, the Dollar Tree or they have those stems of Christmas tree. That works as well, but I have that on hand. Um, if you saw the bags of wood or you can go out in your yard and get some twigs and cut them up. So we'll need some twigs. Um, I got a bag, and I, again, I got these maybe two years ago in the Target Dollar Spot, but I know you can get white pom-poms anywhere. Um, so I bought, I have some of these, and these are the white ones. And, okay, at the Dollar Tree, I got a three-pack, I've opened it up already, a three-pack in the wedding section, and these are little tin buckets. Are these adorable? And they're metal. So you get three for a dollar, but that was fantastic. Um, I have just some different washi for Christmas that I've had on hand. You can, I just picked these three to try. I have these bows that I got at the Dollar Tree. We like those a lot. And just a plain old Sharpie. And that's it, that's, or maybe if you want like an ornament, you know, a snowflake or something, but little ornaments, but that's it. Lies. I have one more thing. Um, I'm using some of these coffee filters that I did pick up at the Dollar Tree. And I'm just using them to fill the bottom of my bucket. But you can certainly use them, use anything you want. I just happen to have these on hand. Okay, let's get you turned around. And I will show you these most adorable little ornaments. So... Give us a second and I'll be right back. We have all of our materials laid out. Now what I did forget to tell you is we needed a hot glue gun warmed up, which I have. So I took one of these cans, sorry for the weird shadowing, and I wrote on it with just a plain Sharpie. Just that and it sticks. I've tested it out. It's not coming off. That is so awesome. Now, if you want it more fancy, you can, you know, print it differently. But this one says snowballs, five cents. And then I took one of uh, these filters and I wadded it up and glued it down inside. And I'll take another one here just so I'm not using all of my uh, pom poms. So it doesn't matter what you do but I didn't know how many I would need. So I'm just taking some hot glue, kind of putting it on here, and I'm gonna smoosh it down in this bag, tub, um, bucket. There we go. The next step is I decide I'm gonna use this red washi, and I wanna go around the bucket with some red. You could do green, you could do gold. I have some black here. Um, actually, maybe on this one I'll do black and green since I'm going to do a green bow. Yeah, that's what we'll do. With these cute little, this one, I don't know if you can see it or not, but there's little Christmas trees on it. It's just tiny. Um, and I bought all this in a kit several years ago. All right, so all we're going to do, and I'll probably start towards the back of the ornament. And I kind of do a little stretch while I'm turning it. I want it to tr get it to lay as flat as I can. Um, because of the shape of the bucket, that's going to be a little challenging. But if you do a little stretch in it, it will, um, you know, it'll lay pretty flat. And that was it. I just went around it with the washi with the little green Christmas trees on it. Ooh, 
I'll throw it down, pick it back up. <laughs> and then I just rub it down pretty hard. There's no need. These are not going to be, you know, played with. They're going to hang on your tree or sit somewhere. So I've done that. Now I'm going to fill the center with some pom-poms. Just some pom-pom balls. And you can do as many as you like. You know, get them in there. So we're going to be quick about this. I just put a blob of hot glue. And I don't need a ton. That's what the white pop uh, coffee filters are going to help with. They're going to help kind of disguise the fact that I'm not filling the entire bucket. Which you can. Again, that's totally up to you. But you just want to make them look like they're stacked in your bucket. And any little stray cobwebs that you get, once it's dry, you can pull them off. There we go. And I want to have room to put that to go up, for the bucket handle to go up. So look, they're just hanging out in there in the bucket. So this is the front. What I'm going to do is where there's a hole here, I should put, I could put another, but I'm gonna put the bow up in there. Um, so these are just, this is just some wired ribbon. Take my little snips and see how that's gonna go. How do you think, that, I just think that's adorable. And that'll fill up the top. So again, hot glue. I'm gonna put it right on top of these balls. And there is a completed ornament. How simple is that and so sweet and so stinking cute. You can paint these buckets. Um, you can color them with markers. You can leave them white. And I did this one yesterday as well. As a t and this one just is a red one. So I have a green and a red. So that's with the snowballs in them, which I just think is totally adorable. And these can sit on your mantle too. Oh, and we're in a little village. Now the next thing I want to do, instead of snowballs, is I'm gonna make a little bucket of firewood with these little sticks from the Dollar Tree that I bought or your yard. So we're all I'm gonna do was, again, with this, because I want a little height in there, so I'm just, Smooshing up my paper. Nothing too fancy. I'm just putting some hot glue in there. And I'm going to fill the bottom. Because that way it'll give these some height. But not too tall. Because I want, you know, to be able to hang. But I want to see them as well. And then I'm just going to... You know, they'll get glued down in top in there, but I want this open with this up, maybe, or down, I don't know yet, but you want to be able to um, get your twigs in there. So I'm kind of pushing it down because I don't want it to stick out too much. And then we're going to do the outside first. So I cut a piece of this greenery. And this is wired. And you see this hole in here? I'm gonna stick the tip of it in that hole with the handle. Um, I'm gonna use a little hot glue, but I will tell you that it, it might not stick super well. So I wanna get, all right. We're gonna cut some of these off the tip so I have a better view. There we go. I'm just going to clean the tip here, and I'll do this end as well. And this is, um, I think it's supposed to be boxwood, which is very Christmas-like, for sure. All right. And if you're using regular garland, same thing. Or if you're using Christmas tree, you know, swag, same thing. So I clean that off so I can see to get it in there. I want to put it in the hole, maybe. And I don't think, well, it's in there. There we go. Popped it in that hole. Touch of hot glue on that side. I don't think I'm going to need it, but 
we'll see. And then I'm going around twice, so I want it a little full, and up top. All right, we're gonna do a little gluing here. Now that I see where I want it, I'm just gonna take a little glue around the edge and get that one piece there. How cute is that? And you can do this again any way you want. This is just my idea of how to decorate these for the holidays. But there is unlimited number of things you can do with these little buckets. Oh, put some coal in it and set it by a little miniature fireplace. This one's a little rough, the paint job, but I don't mind. Um, and I'm trying to kind of glue these one on top of the other. There we go. Now I'm back at the end. And I'm going to feed it into this side. Or wrap it around or something. Just kind of get it up over here. I'm cleaning it off so I can see what I'm doing. There we go. And then I'm going to go on the inside. and It's wire. Just however you can get it to stay. And then a little piece of hot glue. Oh, how adorable is that, guys? Okay, now that will dry and what I'm going to do is place my firewood, right? So I'm just gonna say, okay, well, we'll get it in there for a minute, make sure it all goes in and then I'm gonna start gluing some pieces because you, you want these to stay. <gasps> Look at that. Okay, so first piece first and I'm gluing it on the bottom to the um, each other but also to the coffee filter and it will tuck in the side I just touch the top with my hot glue you don't want to do that but you're all right Ugh. okay and I'll go back in and clean them after but so we're going to put this one right in here. And I really just want to kind of to the side, to the bottom. And how am I going to get them to lay in there, you know? Kind of hold it in place while I put some more glue stick in there. And again, you do this however you want. I wanted them to kind of look like they're in there loosely, but not in there loosely, if that makes any sense whatsoever. You can also just drop some hot glue down in there now because there's enough in that bottom. There you go. And that is my little bucket of firewood. Ah, oh, so cute. And you can put some fake snow down in there. I do have some of that, so I might touch it up with some faux snow, make it look like it's sitting outside. And then I'm just grabbing any of my little cobwebs from the glue gun. But how adorable is that, guys? And super easy. A kids could do this. Oh, maybe the senior center, something easy. And you can use white glue too if you're not wanting it to be done right away. I'm sorry, I have hot glue there. So we have snowballs for five cents and firewood. How adorable. Well, I hope you enjoyed day one of Christmas in July and our Christmas ornaments. Um, there should be a video up every day this week. Ho, 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 and I will talk to you later. Bye.